اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم فقالوا مهما تأتنا به من آیت لتسحرنا بها فما نحن لك بمؤمنین فارسلنا علیہم الطوفان والجراد والقمل والضفاضع والدم آیات مفصلات فاستقبروا وکانوا قوم مجرمین صدق اللہ العظیم We read in the preceding ayat number 130 that according to the general rule of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that whenever a messenger was sent to a nation smaller inflictions were sent to them to arouse them to awake them from their deep slumbers so this was the condition going on in Egypt for a long time when Hazrat Musa alayhi salam was sent to Firaun and they rejected and they didn't believe in him but whenever some f- Infliction came to them. وَقَالُوا مَحْمَا تَعْتِنَا بِهِ مِنْ آيَا O Musa, whatsoever sign you may produce, لَتَسْحَرَنَا بِهَا To bewitch us with it. You are trying your sorcery still on us. So whatever you do, فَمَا نَحْنُ لَكَ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ Rest assured, we are not going to believe in you. That was the arrogance. But that, the arrogance, you know, was very temporary, you will find in the following ayat. Later, they said, okay, if you can remove this thing from us, we shall believe. But when the thing was removed, they went back on their words. فَرْسَلْنَا عَلَيْهُمُ tufan. We sent upon them the flood, وَالْجَرَادْ and the locusts, وَالْقُمَّلَ the lice, and maybe khatmal. Kummal and khatmal, you know, this, they are very near. You know, the vermin. وَالْزَفَادِعَ and the frogs. وَالْدَّمَ and the blood ayati mufassalat clear signs distinct from each other one after the other fastakbaru wa kanu qawma mujrimin they behaved arrogantly and they were a guilty people falamma waqa alayhim alzij whenever you know the plague fell upon them qalu ya musa ja'alna rabbak bima ahid indak they came to moses O oh Moses, please call upon your Lord on the basis of the covenant that you have with him. Now they believe from the depths of their hearts that he is a messenger. They are invoking. You have a covenant with him. So now please invoke that covenant and pray, pray to him on our behalf. If you save us from this this punishment and this infliction ladum minanna laka we shall believe in you wa la nursalanna ma'aka bani israil and then we shall let your people bani israil go out of egypt with you falamma kashafna anhum ar-rijda ila ajalin hum baligu but when we removed from them the infliction the plague to a term they should reach lo izahum yankusun they would break their promise at once that was their You will practice. فَانْتَقَمْنَا مِنْهُمْ Now came the final verdict. The final punishment. Extermination. فَانْتَقَمْنَا مِنْهُمْ So we took the retribution from them. We took the revenge from them. فَغَرَقْنَاهُمْ فِي الْيَمْ And we drowned them all. All the armies, you know, of Fir'aun who had gathered to pursue the, the Bani Israel whom Hazrat Musa had taken And they were going out of, the, of this Egypt, this country. But now Firaun and all his armies, Junudahu, they were following them. فَانْتَقَمْنَا مِنْهُمْ فَاغْرَقْنَاهُمْ فِي الْيَمْ بِأَنَّهُمْ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا We drowned them in the sea because they had belied our revelation. وَكَانُوا عَنْهَا غَافِلِينَ And they were heedless about them. They paid no attention to our ayat, our revelations, our miracles. وَأَوْرَسْنَا الْقَوْمَ قَوْمَ الَّذِينَ كَانُوا يُسْعَفُونَ مَشَارِقَ الْأَرْضِ وَمَغَارِبَهَا And we made the people who were oppressed because Bani Israel were oppressed badly in Egypt. We made them inherit the east and the west of the land الَّتِي بَارَكْنَا فِيهَا Whom we have blessed. This is the land of Palestine. We find in Surah Al-Bani Israel سبحان الذي اسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام الى المسجد الاقصى الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من اياتنا this is a blessed land so east of it and west of it all was inherited by 
now hazrat musa and uh, the the nation of hazrat musa because before entering uh, uh, this land hazrat musa had already died that we have read you know in surah al-maida but the end result is that we in, we make me we made them the inheritors of the east and the west of the land which is, which was blessed by us wa tammat kalimatu rabbikal husna ala bani israil and all the good promises of your lord were fulfilled for bani israil be ma sabaru due to their patience forbearance as a whole they cooperated with hazrat musa alaihi salam because when he said and he fixed an, a time that all of us from all the hooks and corners of the country should come out and go out of egypt they all you know obeyed him and they took all the perseverance of our the persecution with perseverance and patience so the reward is of bima sabar because they showed patience and forbearance but dammarna ma kana yasna firan and we destroyed all that firan wa qawmuhu and his people had built very big palaces they had built wa ma kanu yarishun and the big edifices that they had raised like the world trade center what a high edifice you know raised over the ground the land of allah subhanahu wa taala in the same way those people had also raised edifices and big buildings and big towers but we all were destroyed but jawadna bi bani israil al bahr and we brought the children of israel across the sea rescued them but jawadna bi bani israil al bahr fata ala qaumin yaqufun ala asnam they came to pass by a nation who were meditating on their idols a nation was there some people they had idols worshiping them and you know they they sat they used to sit in meditation before those idols qalu ya musajjal lana ilahan kama lahum alaha now look to these people they said oh musa you make for us also a, a god like this as they have the gods now what's the reason behind it there's a big philosophy behind it if you know dr radha krishnan's name you know he was at one time the president of the republic of india and he was a very big philosopher at that time they were the two most celebrated philosophers on in the world but and russell and on the other hand radha krishnan both were of the same age but they were absolutely opposite to each other but and russell logical positivist denied everything except matter nothing have is there except the matter and the biggest spiritualist of this age in philosophers was radha krishnan he has written history of indian philosophy in two volumes very small print very voluminous books and there he had given a philosophy of worship of idols he says because it is it is difficult for people to meditate on allah because they have not seen him as allama iqbal says kho gare pa kare mehsoos thi insa ki nazar manta phir koi andekhe khuda ko kyu kar people are used you know to see something to believe in it and if you have some visible object before you and you meditate concentrate your attention it becomes easy so he said that actually we were not worshiping these idols we also knew they are of stone this is the philosophy that you know the apology you may call it for idolatry that radha krishnan produced in a very philosophical way but you know to to meditate and to have a construction a concentration of your attention you must have something before you which is visible palpable kho gare pa kare mehsoos thi insaan ki nazar manta phir koi andekhe khuda ko kyu kar and this very argument has been used by some of the mystics i disagree with them that because to meditate on allah is difficult so first of all you meditate on your murshid on your mentor always think he is with you because you can imagine his his figure you can keep in mind so keep him in mind every time every moment that he is with you he is with you he is with you he is seeing you he is seeing you this auto suggestion you know 
that is used there then turn to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tasawwur shaykh then tasawwur nabi and then tasawwur allah and then you can will be able to meditate you know on allah the unseen but when this lesson was being given by shah abdul aziz to sayyid ahmed brelvi he said what if i die during this process when i am meditating on my shaykh it means i have accepted him as the lord he is with me huwa maakum ana ma kuntum this is only for allah subhanahu wa taala but i am imagining that my shaykh is with me every time so actually i will be i will be committing a very big shirk with allah and if i die what will happen so actually he gave up all those practices so this is the philosophy behind this فَأَتَوْا عَلَىٰ قَوْمٍ يَعْكُفُونَ عَلَىٰ أَسْلَامِ اللَّهُمْ قَالُوا يَا بُوسَ جَلَّنَا إِلَاهًا كَمَا لَهُمْ عَلَىٰ قَالَ هِنَّكُمْ قَوْمٌ تَجْحَلُونَ What? He said, you are people driven by false passions, ignorance. أَنَّ هَوْلَىٰ مُتَبَّرُمْ مَا هُمْ فِي These people are going to be destroyed and shattered in what they are doing. وَبَاطِلُمْ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ And whatever they are doing is in vain, without any reality. قال اغير الله ابغيكم الها he said i should i seek another god for you except allah wa huwa faddalakum ala allah ala al alamin and he had raised you above and exalted you over all the nations of the world wa is anjaynakum min ali firaun oh children of israel just remember when we saved you from firaun's people yasumunakum su al azab They were subjecting you to the worst of the punishments and chastisement. You cut the luna abnakum. They were killing your sons. You stay you na nisakum, keeping your women alive so that they can serve in their houses as maids, but with the boys to be killed, so that the strength of the tribe remains, you know, restricted. Wa fi zalikum balau min rabbikum azim. And definitely in all this, there was a big testing and trial and tribulation for you. From your Lord, 